Good morning. It's 5 a.m. right here in Beijing. You are watching news update here on CCTV News. I'm Yu Ze. U.S. President Barack Obama has met with Turkish visiting Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan in Washington. Both leaders have agreed to give top priority to ending the violence in Syria and pledged to continue ramping up pressure on Syrian President Bashar al-Assad to step down. They have also addressed the other issues, including Turkish relations with Israel. Meng Qingsheng takes a closer look. President Bashar al-Assad needs to hand over power to a transitional government. That's the key message from U.S. President Barack Obama and Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan. Both sides pledge a united front on handling the Syrian crisis. We're going to keep increasing the pressure on the Assad regime and working with the Syrian opposition. The Prime Minister has been at the forefront of the international effort to push for a transition to a democratic Syria without Bashar Assad. And Turkey is going to play an important role as we bring representatives of the regime and opposition together in the coming weeks. Uh, we both agree that Assad needs to go. Ending this bloody process in Syria and meeting the demands of the people by establishing a new government are two areas where we are in full agreement with the United States. Supporting the opposition and pressing on Assad's leaving are important issues. We also agreed that we have to prevent Syria from becoming an area for terrorist organizations. Washington is keeping all options on the table, both diplomatic and military. Meanwhile, Obama is placing great importance on Turkey's role in the process of establishing a transitional government in Syria. Erdogan had been expected to push Obama for more assertive action on Syria during his visit to Washington. His visit came days after car bombs tore through Turkish border town in the deadliest spillover of violence yet. Turkish authorities have blamed the Syrian intelligence agency and called on Erdogan to take more aggressive steps to topple Assad's government. Obama said the U.S. stands with Turkey in fighting terror threats, but seemed reluctant to take the kind of action Turkey would like to see, including establishing a no-fly zone in Syria. Despite differences over Syria, Erdogan still welcomed the opportunity to promote his close ties with Obama. The U.S. recently negotiated a deal to repair ties between Turkey and Israel, which was severed following a 2010 Israeli raid on a Gaza-bound aid flotilla, in which eight Turks and a Turkish-American were killed. The U.S. sees reconciliation between Turkey and Israel as critical, as it seeks to revitalize peace talks between the Israelis and the Palestinians. It is also looking for Turkish help in ramping up sanctions on Iran and in cooling sectarian tensions in Iraq. Meng Qingsheng, CCTV.